Let's come on to our seat in Sukhasan. Steady, comfortable seat. Legs crossed. Perhaps you're supported by a cushion or a blanket. And feel the connection between the earth and your sit bones. Lengthen your spine. Imagine it rising from the base, elongating up towards the sky. Closing your eyes. Or gently turning your gaze inward. Let's bring your thumb to your middle finger. Let's bring the thumb to the knuckle of the middle finger for Surya Mudra. The gesture of the sun. We're working today with the full moon energy. Full moon is in Leo. And so we'll be drawing upon um, lion heart energy, connecting with the fiery fearlessness, fierceness of the lion, but also invoking the qualities of the heart, anahat chakra, the heart chakra. Beginning to observe your breath and inviting the breath into your heart space, allowing the heart space to open. Imagine a six pointed star at the heart here. Perhaps a shade of green, a glowing light emanating from this star at the heart. And as you inhale, visualize the light brightening. And as you exhale, visualize a gentle dimming as if you're turning down the lights in your room in the evening to create a warm, safe, cozy atmosphere, inhaling to brighten, exhaling to gently allow the light to fade so that it is soft glow. Three more breaths in and out of Anahat Chakra. Connecting with the energy of the heart, the heart's wisdom, the love and compassion that sits within the heart. The mantra here on your breath. Eem, reem, kleem. It's the E sound. Eem, harim, kleem. The bija sounds. The seeds that allow the flower of the heart to blossom and flower. I radiate confidence and strength. Eem. Harim, Klim, Im, Harim, Klim. These sounds, very small sounds, as if you are 
scattering star seeds. Eem, reem, clean. Bringing your hands together in Namaskar at the heart. Opening our practice by chanting Om three times. One for the moon, the fullness and the brightness of the moon. One for the sun, the fullness and the brightness of the sun. And one for your heart, the fullness and the brightness of your heart. Inhaling fully to prepare. Om. Inhale. Om. Inhale. Opening your eyes. And I'm going to invite you to take a mudra with both hands. Abhaya Haridya Mudra, Fearless Heart Mudra. So we've done this before. We'll have another go. Let's cross the right wrist over the left wrist. Interlace your little fingers. Skip the ring finger, interlace your middle fingers, wrapping them around. Now interlace your index fingers with one another. And your index, your ring and thumb are free. So bring the tips of those to touch. This is Abhaya Haridya Mudra, Fearless Heart. So I'll repeat that. So from Anjali, cross the right wrist over the left. Interlink the little finger, leave the ring finger, interlink the middle fingers, interlink index fingers, and now bring your ring to the thumb, creating what looks like eyes. This is fearless heart mudra, abhaya haridya mudra. Bringing it to your heart. And under this full moon that we are about to enter, this moon invites us to connect with the energy and the power of the heart. The courage of the lion that sits within you. Stepping into your power. Stepping into your power, lighted up by the full moon. The brightness of the full moon helps you to see, appreciate, visualize the power that you have within. Perhaps you have a positive affirmation. Your heart's calling or heart prayer, sankalpa, I am fearless. I have courage and strength. I see my own power. I know that my power can affect change. And perhaps you connect with the im, harim, klim mantra. A bija mantra, the seed sounds. I radiate strength and power, confidence and power. So, so often confidence, power and strength are interlinked because it takes strength to step into your power. It takes confidence to step into your power and by stepping into your power, you grow more confidence. Heem, harim, clean. I am fearless. I'm a fearless warrior. I radiate power, strength, confidence. And think about what it is that you 
how you can use this power that you have, this inner power that you have. What effect can you put it to? What impact can you have with it? Where do you want to see the use of this internal power, this inner power that you have? What in your life can you express more fully? What it is that will take courage for you to resolve, work through, overcome? Perhaps it's facing your deepest truth, listening to the wisdom of your heart, allowing your heart to guide you forward so that you can shine brightly and boldly as the full moon. Visualize this journey forward under the fullness of the moon. The brave heart, lion heart, perhaps seeking your community to support you in lifting your sense of power. Perhaps you offer your own power to support others, to support your community. Full breath into the heart space, visualizing the six pointed star of Anahat Chakra, perhaps green in color, shining brightly as you breathe in, fading to a glow as you breathe out. Releasing your Abhaya Haridya Mudra. Let's place your fingertips on the earth and then reach behind you, bringing your hands as close as they can, keeping your fingertips on the earth. Draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze up towards the sky, opening across the heart. As you exhale, draw your hands, bringing them forward, interlacing them into a yoga mudra, rounding through your spine. Perhaps you extend your index fingers, crossing your thumbs. Direction going forward, which takes courage of the heart. So inhaling to open the heart, draw the shoulder blades together, taking in courage, finding courage. Exhaling to move forward, rounding through the spine here. Let's do three breaths like this. Perhaps you connect with Ujjayi breath, the ocean sounding breath, the sound that is constricted at the back of the throat, audible breath. It's also known as victory breath. Ujjayi, Jai means victory. And then returning back to normal with your hands in front of you, coming onto your knees directly. Knees are wide, big toes touch. And if you check how your knees feel. So you may want to blanket your, pad your knees with a blanket, place a cushion, behind your knees. Let's place our fingertips on the earth. Again, draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart, opening through your heart. So you may have a dip in your lower back here. As you exhale, we're going to poke out our tongue as far as it can go, open our eyes wide and make a sound with our breath as if we are a roaring lion. Simhasan Pranayam, lion's breath. Twice more. Full breath in, full breath out. Releasing lion's breath. Placing your hands either side of you, knees come together, place your right hand on the earth, reach up and over, thumb on middle finger, knuckle perhaps, inhale through center, 
again, you can have your Surya Mutra, the solar energy, which we most closely associate with the lion, the lion's mane. So the fuller the sun's light, the brighter the moon shines. The moon reflects the light of the sun. So today we're drawing upon the energy of the sun via the full moon. The full moon is our path to brightness, to fierce energy. Three times in both directions, inhaling and exhaling as you move, coming back to center. Take a moment here. Come onto your knees. Now, this is where you definitely might need a blanket because we're going to be on our knees for a moment or two. So you might want to place the blanket underneath your knees. You might want to roll the blanket. So I like to do a half roll and then have the inside of my ankles on the rolled bit and the tops of my feet on the bit that sort of reaches out behind me so that my feet are fully padded. Open your heart, palms to either side. So we're going to do some heart tapping and then move into Ustras and Kamal pose, classic heart opening pose. So here we are. Bring your right hand to your heart and extend the left arm behind you. Inhale, center, left hand to heart. Exhale to the right with your right hand going behind you. So we're going to flow like this from left to right. Inhale, center, exhaling to back. And we're going to tap our heart so that you can hear this tapping sound. So tapping on our thymus here. So, and we'll do this for, I don't know, about 15 times. And make that pat loud if you want. Perhaps your breath becomes stronger. You can go as fast or as slow as you want here. Allow your breath to be strong. Let's have five more. Tapping on your fearless heart. Here we have the advantage of tapping on our thymus to stimulate positive hormones. And that slow down if you've been going fast and then coming to stop. You must be feeling exhilarated. I feel as if I've just been for a run. My breath is accelerated. I'm full of energy. It's pumping around me. So if I look, check my heart rate, it's gone up. <sighs> Take a full breath here. We're going to move into Ustrasan camel pose. So your feet can be flat on the earth or on your blanket. You can have your toes tucked. You can even place your toes on a block or on a cushion. Let's take our hands behind our back, heels, on the on the bony bits here, just above your buttocks, fingertips pointing down. Draw your shoulder blades together, drawing your elbows towards each other. And then lift your gaze. Sense that you're elongating along the front of your body, along the front of your heart space. Lift your gaze up towards a place where the ceiling meets the wall. So maintaining Lots of space here at the back of the neck. We'll start here, a gentle bend. Three breaths here. Perhaps you inhale, heem. Exhale, reem. Inhale, clean. The bija sounds that we're planting, these seeds that we're scattering in our heart space for courage for strength, for um, confidence, for power. One full breath here. And then let's tuck our chin into the throat, and release our hands. And perhaps you take your hands to the back of your head by interlacing your fingers so that your elbows add a little bit of weight. 
here to the back of your neck. And then let's open up the heart, open out your arms, your elbows as if they're wings, lift your gaze up towards the sky. You're supporting your head here. And then release your hands. And now we're going to move on. So you can stay here with your hands above your hips here. You can reach with one hand towards one heel. That could be your half variation. This left hand can keep supporting your lower back, the other hand. Or you can reach back with both hands. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades together. Lengthen the front of your body here. Lift your gaze. Hips and pelvis aligned with the knees. Some of us will have lots of space to back bend here. Some of us may have less mobility in the spine, less space between each vertebrae. Shoulder blades drawing together, hands supporting your lower back. If you've got one hand reaching back, bring the other hand to your lower back first before swapping hands. So that you're always supporting your lower back. Ustras and camel pose, heart opener. Allow the light of the full moon to radiate, emanate from your heart space. Three more breaths here. Now moving with care here, supporting your lower back, coming back to neutral spine, and then begin to take your sit bones back towards your heels. Place your hands on the earth and bring the top of your crown to rest very gently on the earth. We're not putting any weight on our crown here. Rabbit pose or hair pose, Shashangasan. Your hands can stay here as scaffolds, or you can take your hands to your heels and round a little bit deeper in your upper back. This is the counter pose to Ustrasan. Shashandasan. One full breath here. Releasing your heels. And now let's come directly into child's pose here. Knees together or a short space between them if you wish. Hands alongside your body, palms face up. Eyebrows center on the earth and allow your shoulders, neck to feel heavy here. We're going to take three breaths here just to rest. Whenever we work with the spine, moving the spine in different directions, it's a lot of work for our body. And so we move slowly and transition slowly from many, especially back bends, to take the greatest care of our spine. Here, by having our arms alongside us, we're reducing any pressure or weight. Inhale, bringing your hands back alongside your head, lift your gaze, move directly into table Brahmasana here. Inhale, lift your tailbone, dip your lower back, round through your spine. Three cat cows here, Madriyasan, Bithyasan. Inhaling. And if you wish, you can even add a lion breath here, Simhasan Pranayam. Inhaling to lift your gaze, exhaling, <sighs> poking out your tongue. Let's circle our hips and perhaps we do a C shape one way, then the other, and we circle our hips. 
And then we have another English to the chair up here is good for the spine, especially after the Ustis and Camel Fans. Reach back with your right leg, leg parallel to the earth. You can stay here with both hands on the earth, or you can reach your left hand forward, parallel here, inside the last and balancing tiger. Engage your core here. Reach out as if there are rays of light emanating from your arm and leg. Surya Mutla here. Feeling strong, activating through the leg by pushing out through the heel. One breath here. Exhale, bring the left hand back to the earth. Curl your spine and tuck in the knee towards your eyebrow center, towards your heart. And then release it on the earth. Let's extend the left leg along. You can stay here with both hands on the earth with this balance, balancing tiger, or you can reach forward with your right arm. Sat Claw with your hands into the earth if your fingertips are connected with the earth. Like a lion claw, tiger claw. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Bend into your left knee. Hugging it in towards your heart, eyebrow center. And then return your knee to the earth. We're moving into Anahatasana. Melting heart pose. Hoping my sound is still working. Come onto your forearms here, hips above knees. Now you might be quite happy here with your forearms on the earth, your heart lifted away from the earth. Or you may wish to walk your elbows forward, sliding your hands forward, so that your heart comes closer to the earth. You may wish to place a cushion underneath your heart. Or perhaps you bring your eyebrows centered to the earth. Again, our heart is the heart opener. And we will be in different places depending on the amount of movement. We have in our spine the spaces that we have between the discs, each vertebrae. If you begin to feel pins and needles in one arm or the other, fold in one arm and frame the top of your head with the forearm so you can opt for other anatasan half. Half variation of melting heart. But my dog's enjoying the disturbing thing. And again, here you can either activate through your arms so that you claw in the earth with your hands, or you can soften through your arms. Yogi's choice. I'm choosing to feel active here. Three more breaths. And then moving with care. Move your sit bones away from your heels. Move your shoulders forward over your forearms. Coming into Salamba Bhujangasana, Sphinx pose. So forearms on the earth, fingers spread wide. Claw the earth with your finger pads. Lift your heart so that the heart is shining. Lift your crown. Press into your big toes. Now your feet can be as wide as your mat, closer together, depending on how much um, space you need for your lower back. We're not going to be here for long. One more breath. And then let's come down to the earth. Take your arms alongside your body, palms face up, turn onto your right ear and rest in your right ear for a moment. 
filled earth pressed against your heart space here. Sense your heart beating. Perhaps you can hear the heart pumping. Your blood circulating in your body. Perhaps you can feel a pulse somewhere in your abdomen. Inhale, let's turn the head the other way so that you bring the left ear to the earth. And allow your body to soften and feel heavy here. Your heart space is connected with the earth. One full breath here again, feeling the connection between the heart space and the earth. Noticing how much strength, firmness there is in the earth below you. Inhale, turn your head to centre. Bring your hands alongside your shoulders. Press into your hands, lift your sit bones, move into Parvatasana. Mountain pose here. Let's sway the hips, pedal the feet. And then when you're ready, come into stillness, claw through your finger pads here. Let's take three lion breaths, the muscle and plenty arm. Inhale through your nose, exhale through open mouth, as if the air is gushing out in a hot sound with a soft roar. Twice more, inhaling, exhaling to roar. Thinking about here, what it is you need to be able to step into your own power. How can this full moon help you to affirm your intent intentions? How this full moon can affirm your sense of confidence in your own self, in your own power? Facing life fearlessly with a brave heart. Lift your gaze. Walk your hands back towards your body, coming into a forward fold here. Inhaling, arm curl your spine, one vertebrae at a time to come up to standing. Standing mountain to basin. Now you'll be at the back of your mat. Let's turn so that you have the full length along the right side of your body for your mat. Hands on the Surya Mudra for the moment. So turning that quarter twist so that you are facing the long edge of your mat with the space along the right side. Connect with your breath. I invite you to bring your hands into Anjali. Cross at the wrist, interlink your little fingers, skip your ring, interlink your middle fingers, your index, and bring ring and thumb to touch in the Baya Paritya Mudra, fearless heart mudra here. And take quite a wide stance so that you feel steady. So the narrower your stance, the less steady you will feel. Find a stance that feels Secure and stable and strong. Lifting your toes, pressing down into the earth with all four corners of your feet. Lifting your heart space, opening your heart space. Perhaps a gentle drawing together of the shoulder blades. Lengthen your crown. Fearless heart. Being your boldest, brightest bravest self, seeking courage in order to move forward in times of doubt, insecurity, uncertainty, fear. 
Inhale, release your mudra. Hands reach overhead. Bring your hands into Kali Mudra. Index extended, thumbs cross. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Step across your mat. Open out your arms and pull us in star pose. And now visualize the sun, the brightest star in our galaxy, the brightest, most fearless, powerful star. One breath here in Palasi. Turn out your toes, bend into your knees, bring your hands into a bayam mudra at the heart, interlacing all your fingers except ring and then bringing the ring to the thumb. Right wrist over left wrist. Take a moment here, sit low. Fearless heart mudra here. You feel powerful here in your glory. One breath here. One more, engage your thighs. Press firmly into the earth through your feet. Lift your crown. Draw your shoulder blades slightly together. Let's take a lion breath here. Inhale fully through your nose. Straighten through your knees. Release your hands. Turn your right toes up towards the right hand side and turn your left toes into a 45 degree angle. Hinge over with your right arm. Coming into Trikonasana, right hand down to the earth. Or onto a block. Left hand can stay on your hips or reach up towards the sky. Thumb on the middle finger in Surya. Perhaps you lift your gaze up to the sky. Have the sense of opening across your heart in Trikonasana. Triangle pose. One breath here. Exhale, turn your gaze down towards your right foot. Bend into your right knee. Rotate on the ball of your left foot. Slightly hop that left foot out towards the side of your mat. 45 degree angle coming into pyramid. Inhale, hands to heart. Halfway lift, crown reaching forward, tailbone reaching back. You are invited to come into Namaskar Mudra or via Hridhya Mudra. So remember to interlace all your fingers apart from your ring that you bring to your thumb. Halfway left here. Draw your shoulders together, drawing your navel. Inhale, lift your gaze, coming up that standing pyramid. Now remember your feet can be as wide as your mat. This will give you the most steady, stable pyramid base, or they can be narrower. This will make you feel less steady. So find what feels secure for you. Inhale, lift your gaze, lifting your heart. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, draw your shoulder blades together. Keep plenty of space at the back of the neck. One breath here. Release your hands. Draw your hands together, Kali Mudra. Extend your index, cross your thumbs. Draw your hands down. As you exhale, bend into your right knee. Lift your left foot and come into Warrior One. Left toes reaching behind you. You can keep the tips of your left toes on the earth. You can have them hovering slightly off the earth or parallel to the earth. One breath here. Now, if your uh, block is handy or your footstool, release your hands. Bring your right fingertips to the earth. Slightly rotate your heart space so that you're facing the long edge of your mat. Extend the left leg long. Push out through the heel of that left foot, flexing the foot. Right hand staying on the earth, on your block, on your stool. Left hand can be on your hip. Or you can reach up towards the sky. In Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Open the heart here. Elongate across the heart. 
six-pointed star, the Anahat Chakra. One more breath here. Bend into your left foot. Bring the left foot to meet the right foot. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a full breath in. Inhale to uncurl your spine one vertebra at a time. Come up to standing. Quarter turn on your mat so that you're facing the long edge of your mat. Again, come into your Tadasana standing mountain. You can bring your Bayaharidya Mudra at the heart here. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Take a moment here, connecting with the fearlessness of your lion heart. Inhale, reach overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index, cross your thumbs. Cross your thumbs in the other direction so it feels odd this time. Reaching up, exhale over to the right. Just my earpiece as usual. Everybody who practices yoga with me knows that my ears grow quite regularly. Inhale, center, exhale over to the left. Chandrasana. Inhale, center. Bringing your hands into your anjali, step across your mat, open out into Tadasana star pose. So here your toes can be pointing forward, your energy can be reaching to the outer edge. If you want, you can have your toes turned out. Yogi's choice here. Yoga is not about perfection. There's no ideal shape or pose. It's about what feels ideal for you within your own body. Tadasana star pose. Your power. Yim, hurrying, clean. Planting and scattering these seeds, star seeds. Bend into your knees, turn your toes out. Interlace your hands into your haridhya, via haridhya mudra at the heart. Right wrist over left, interlace, ring, little, middle and index, and bring the ring to the thumb. And then sit low here. You can draw up the crown. Ground down through your feet, your lower body grounding down, your thighs being so firm and strong here. Engage your core, open your heart. Stepping into your brightest, boldest, most brilliant self, your most powerful incarnation. Fearless warrior who can effect change, move forward, stand up those who need support, defy abuse of power. Inhale, straighten through your legs. Turn your left toes to the bottom end of your mat now. Turn the right foot to a 45 degree angle. Remember, your pyramid, uh, we're going to move into pyramid, so have your legs lined up. Reach across with your left hand. Moving into Trikonasana first, you're going to soften in this left knee. Exhale, left hand down towards the earth or your block. Whatever your option is here. This right hand can reach up towards the sky or stay on your right hand. Open across your heart. Perhaps you gaze up. Your warrior should kick a nothing. Gaze down towards your left foot. Bend into your left knee. You bring your right hand down towards the earth. Now you might want to hop your right foot so that your pyramid base now is fully aligned. Hands can be on blocks here. We're not here for very long. Let's bring our hands to our heart. Crown reaching forward, tailbone reaching back. Hands in Namaskar or via Haridhya Mudra. 
Neem Harim claim. We don't often use these Bija seed stands. But connecting here with the power, confidence, the strength that we have within, sometimes it might be something we need to grow, nurture, develop. One breath here and then engage your core, pressing through your feet, lifting upright, the standing pyramid. And then exhale to lift your gaze. Here you can draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your chin slightly. Make sure you've got plenty of space at the back of your neck. Your pyramid face can be as narrow or as wide as you need it to be. The weight is shifting to the outer edge of that foot that's behind you. One breath here. Now let's release our hands, interlace your fingers behind your back. We're coming into Kali Mudra, index extended. Recross your thumb so it feels weird because we'll always start off with our most dominant thumb on top. And then when we recross, we'll have the one that feels like we're missing a digit. Draw your hands together, shoulder blades together. Now begin to bend into your left leg. Make sure you've got enough space in front of you. So we're going into our warrior three. And then into Ardha Chandrasana. Begin to reach forward with your crown. Coming onto the ball of the toes of your right foot here. And then lift the right leg. Now that right leg can be extended and reaching behind you, parallel to the earth. And the toes on the earth. And your toes slightly lifted. You can also let go of your hand and hold the wall if you so wish. All options are available to you. Crown reaching forward. Right toes behind you. And then when you're ready, release your left hand down towards the earth or onto your block. Then open your heart towards the long edge of your mat. Find your balance here. Flex that right foot. Right hand can stay on your hips or you can reach your right hand to the sky. Keep pushing out through the right heel. Again, that right leg can be close to the earth. One more breath. Bend into your right knee. Bring your right foot to your left. Forward fold here. And then unfold your spine to come up to the bathroom. We're back at the bottom of our mat now. Let's quarter turn again. So we're facing forward. Standing Madhya Padasana. Reconnect with your fearless breath. So this full moon in Leo is one of the most transformative full moons of the year. And you can see how when you channel your energy, your power, that's when you can change and create the greatest transformation. We're half-hearted. We're not commit, committed totally, absorbed completely. Then perhaps our efforts are not rewarded. We don't achieve the aims or intentions or goals that we have. One more breath. Let's step across the mat. Turn the right toes up towards the top of the mat here. Bend into your right knee. And then turn your heart so it faces the top of your mat here. Bring your Haripila Mudra to the heart. So warrior one. So left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Turn your hips so they face forward. 
Again, remember your stance can be as wide or as aligned in a um, narrow way as you prefer for your balance. Let's take a lion's breath here in warrior one. Inhale fully. Open out your arms, warrior two. Again, bring your middle finger and um, thumb to the index. Thumb to the knuckle of the middle finger. One breath here. Let's take a lion's breath here. So remember to take a full breath in and then exhale, spread open mouth, gaze over the right arm. Inhaling. Inhale, turn to center through the Kalasan. Turn the left toes up. Bend into that left knee. Have a 45 degree angle on your right foot. Turn your hips and heart. Come into your Harikya Mudra. Via Harikya Mudra. Fearless heart. And warrior one. Take a full breath in, exhale, samasana pranayama, lion's breath. <sighs> Open out your arms into warrior two, maha virabhasana. Take a full breath in, lion's breath out here. <sighs> Back to center in Karasan. Take a moment here. Heel toe, heel toe, or jump to the center, yogi's choice. Standing mountain here. Let's take a moment before we come to the earth. Actually, let's do our let's do a balance here. I know we've already done a balance. Let's throw in one more balance. I know we'll do, we'll do Shiva. So, shift the weight into your left leg. Bend into your right knee. Now cross that right foot in front of you so you can have your toes, the ball of your foot in the air. You can't really see because these pants are a bit baggy, but I've got that kind of shape there. Now that's variation one. So you can see it looks like a figure four. Second option is to place the heel just above the knee of the left leg. So again, you should have a little figure of four shape here. So two variations, one with the toes or the ball of the right foot on the earth, one with the right ankle above the left knee. Find your uh, drishti, your focal point ahead, that's not going to shift and move. And then let's come into our Bayamudra. And sink into that left knee. If you have your right foot, flex that right foot. Lift your crown, crawl your shoulder blades slightly together, draw in your navel. I am fearless. I draw upon my inner power. One more breath here. Really sitting down so that you can feel it in that left thigh. And then let's rise up. Release that right foot, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Or as I like a little shimmy just to shake it out. And then re-center, realigning your standing mountain with Vasa. And shift the weight into the right leg now. Peel off the left heel. Find your focal point that's not going to move ahead on the horizon. And then let's cross that left foot over. Again, you can come onto the ball or the toes of the left foot, so you have a little uh, bend in that left knee, so it looks like a figure four. Or you can bring that right and left ankle just above the right knee, so it's resting on your thigh. Again, turn that left knee out here. You'll be making some micro movements on your right foot using your toes for balance so that you feel balanced and strong here. And then bend into your knee. Bring your hands into your Abhaya Mudra. 
by a head if you wonder if you wobble and fall out come back in if it feels too much to have the mudla here you can have your thumb on your knuckle of the middle finger instead in surya mudra or you can have your hands on your hips or on a ball whatever your choice ladies one full breath here release your asan here shake it out let's come to the earth lower yourself down open out your arms to the side Hug in your knees here, then let's drop our knees over to the left for a moment. So your heart space is open here, so your arms are out wide. Your heart is open to the sky. Your right shoulder is heading towards connection with the earth, if not connected. Let's take a lion's breath here. And if you want, you can bring your hands into your claws. You feel that right down here when you're ready, when you take a lion's breath there, especially on the exhale. Inhale, knees to centre and then over to the right. Give yourself space if you feel all there. And then let's do a lion's breath here. Really feel it here in the in the place that you're feeling the twist in the lower abdomen. You can control your hands for extra effect. Oh. Inhale, center. Hug your knees. Gentle roll from side to side and your lower back. You can even roll backwards and forwards if you want. I find that quite nice after the lots of back bends. And then come up to your sukhasan, the easy seat. If you wish to take shavasana, feel free. But my clock has stopped, so I now realise that we're almost at an end. I carry on for hours, as you know. So if you are going to take Shavasan, or maybe just before you go to sleep, get your blanket and roll it up into a sausage shape. And then place it on the earth. And then what's really, really lovely now when we have this full moon is to place your kind of where your bra strap will be, or just underneath your shoulder face. And then you can place your upper body here on the on your roll up blanket legs wide arms wide if it feels too constrictive in your neck you also place a cushion or a sort of a slightly lower cushion or slightly lower blanket underneath your head so your head is also supported here this feels a great heart opener and you can have that push of us and for, for as long as feels comfortable for you delicious Thank you, my beautiful yogis. Let's come into our Habaya Haripya Mudra for the last time for this practice today. You might notice how your voice feels. So my voice is feeling quite, my throat is feeling quite dry. And I can, I can hear that there's a rasping sound in my throat because of all the lion breast muscle and cranial that we practice. So make sure you have some water to hydrate, warm water to hydrate with it. Um, but it's kind of really helping us to shift um, and create transform transformational energy. And that requires work and effort. For us to step into power, it's just not something that comes easy to most of us. It's not often most of us don't have power or we don't have access to power but we all have personal power that is within and this full moon in the year helps us to connect to the lion heart 
a great heart. Take a full breath into your heart space. Allowing your six pointed star there, the Yantra or Anahat Chakra, to shine brightly. And as you exhale, allow it to soften the glow into something that is comforting and reassuring, like the embers of a fire. Closing our practice by chanting Beam, hurrying, clean three times, and then arm shanti. Beam, hurrying, clean, or you can repeat your positive affirmation in English. I radiate strength, confidence, and power. Inhale, clean. Hurrying, beam, hurrying, clean. Beam, hurrying, clean. Beam, hurrying, clean. Om Shanti 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 Danyavad Yogis Danyavad Wow Thank you everyone for joining me I've overrun by a couple of minutes Right Radical Yogi Book Club This Sunday is with Dr. Gail Parker's book, Restorative Yoga. And even if you haven't got the book, you haven't read the book, I'm going to be going through it. And it's just amazing. So please join me. Thank you all. Have a wonderful full moon evening. It's tomorrow. Make sure you like, set your intentions. Fierce, bold, brave. Then you're back. I'm going to unmute.